To set a student goal for Accelerated Reader, you're going to come to your dashboard, click on Accelerated Reader 360 Independent Reading. It will bring up this menu here. Click on Record Book and Goals. This is going to bring up a dashboard of the latest quizzes that your students have taken. If you click on this tab over to Goals, you can set goals for your entire classroom. Now because it's summertime right now, I don't have access to this. So there's different ways to set up your goals. You can set them up by marking period, which is by quarter, and those dates will be pre-selected for you. Uh, right now, summer school is going on, so if we selected this summer one, they would be able to set that one for summer, or there was a way to set it for the whole year. My preference is to go quarter at a time so students can focus on small goals and they can feel successful when they reach those goals. Um, so I would select my marking period. So if I clicked on marking period four, I could see reporting on this. This is blued out, grayed out right here. So I can't click on this because that marking period has already passed. But if I change this to my year one, I can just give you a quick glance. So um, this set goal section would be the same functionality for other quarters. So you would just need to make sure you clicked on the correct quarter or marking period. You would say set goals for selected. So right now all of my students are selected. If I click on set goals, it says use ZPD and grade level equivalent from each student's first test of this school year latest test, best test, or currently selected for each student. So I'm going to say their latest test or their best test are their best option. Um, latest test, you could have a student who was frustrated with the test that day and didn't do as well as previous times, and you don't want um, their reading goal uh, reflected based on that. Um, but it's your choice how you do that. So I'm going to say their best test this school year. Average book level. So you can choose. This is based on their ZPD, which is determined from their star reading assessment. So you can say, okay, I want them to have a moderate level, a amb moderately ambitious, or a super ambitious. I'm going to say it will be moderately ambitious. Average percent correct, 85%. That's a school site decision. Normally, your goal is to get 85%. Um, I would not change that unless your school site has agreed to change that. I know sometimes some lower grades choose 80%. 85% um, is usually the goal that most school sites have used. And then you set the average number of points as how much independent reading they're going to do every day. So if you think they're going to read only 15 minutes a day, it's going to be half, their goal will be half as much as if you set the goal for 30 minutes a day. So I'm going to choose 30 minutes a day. I'll click apply. And now it's going to fill in automatically based on the test date right here. It's going to figure out what their suggested ZPD is. From that, it's going to choose a moderately ambitious goal because that's what I choose. So it's 20%. So you can see that um, their average goal right in the middle is 3.6. Then um, this actual won't be filled in for you because they won't have any tests during that time for you. Average percent correct is 85 for all of the students. You have their 30 minute time and then it tells you what their actual points are right there. If I click undo changes, all of that goes away. And if I wanted to, I could go through one at a time select the test that they want. So let's just choose uh, 3.9 is his highest, so we'll choose that one right there. So it's putting his goal at 3 instead of 3.6 as you saw before. And then average percent correct, we, our school site average was 85. Daily reading time, I'm going to say he needs to read 35 minutes a day. And you can see that his AR goal for the entire year would be 79.2 points. Now, 
We would definitely want this quarter at a time because if you tell a student they have to read 80 points worth of books on day one, uh, they're probably going to not be super happy campers. Um, one thing, last thing you want to do is make sure you save goals right here. Um, if you don't save the goals, they will go away. Now, just because you establish these goals doesn't mean you can't change them later. So say, for example, um, this was a quarter and the goal was that he would get um, 79.2 uh, and he got 78, but you wanted to trim that a little bit because he did some awesome other things. You could come in and just individually change any of these items you wanted. If he was uh, consistently choosing books at the lowest level at three, you could probably put this goal up a little higher and then talk to him about that item right there. So that's how you set a reading goal for a student.